first time on the boat, it just kind of clicked for me, and I just realized this is my sport. I mean, this is what I'm here to do. Confidence. Diligence. Passion. Teamwork. Determination. Perseverance. Indomitable spirit. It takes a lot of qualities to make a very, very good rower. Um, but discipline and um, and a pursuit of something that they're never going to get because rowing is never perfect. Those are the two major ones. And people who enjoy that and are able to laugh at that are usually the ones who are most successful at life, but also most successful at rowing. This is a sport of patience. It's a sport of discipline. Um, to reach the excellence or the higher level, I know that I'm going to fall on my face a lot of times, but to learn from those mistakes, to learn where I've fallen down, that's actually where I get faster. And it builds character in myself and that when people tell me I can't do something, I have to look to me for the inner strength and the calm. The sport of rowing, um, it's very quantifiable. What you put in is what you get out of it. And it's very rare in this day and age where someone who's 14 or 15 can start a new sport you know, in maybe four or five, six, seven years, they could potentially be at a world-class level. Uh, rowing is a great sport because it is the ultimate team sport. Uh, you're only as strong as your weakest link. The more you work with your team, like the more your boat is rewarded, the faster you're going to go. You're constantly being part of something that's greater and bigger and better than yourself. You can't do it all on your own. I enjoy coaching junior rowers uh, when they come to it fresh, and they are innocent. They have wide eyes wide open. They're like, "Wow, this is amazing. This is this is a brand new sport," and I. I love it, Let, let's go do more of it, and they're fearless, and they just go after it. In rowing, as long as you work hard, you can be national champion. Just as long as you work hard, that's it. You know you always can get faster, even as a coxswain. I mean, there's no set way you can really see it if you're getting better, but you just have to know that you can push your boat farther. I think crew is a really like, honest sport. Like A lot of people can be good at baseball. If you're just good at baseball. Crew is, you know, how much work you put in is how much you can get out of it. I think everyone has their own sort of self-imposed limitations and I think rowing allows you to push beyond your comfort zone. And when challenges came up, when coaches said to go home because I was too old, I was too slow, I was too light, I was too short, it's like, eh, whatever. I'm staying here, I'm going to fight, I'm going to go after my seat because this is what I love and I'm having a really good time doing it. I've learned how to not give up and just... Like when you're when you're down in a half a race, even three quarters of the race, you just say, you know, screw this, I'm not gonna lose. You can do it. And that you're truly your body is so much stronger than your mind. It's opened up new opportunities like for dwarves in particular. Like I wanna be the opening gate for dwarves who like they could actually do this, not just me. Like I'll be the first and then open the floodgates as I said. There was a young man, his name is Chris Mercaldi, um, and when I was coaching at Groton, he was an eighth grader. He was 4'10". You know, I was like, oh great, coxswain, you know, terrific. And he's like, no, I want to run. And I was like, okay. And so we had a little mixed uh, boys and girls boat, ninth boat. And I was like, we'll never see him again. Next year he comes down, strokes the seventh boat, they win, undefeated season. Next year he comes down as a tenth grader, fourth boat, they win the New England Championships. Two years later as a senior, he is stroking the first boat, they win the New England Championships, he strokes an eight and they win the Prince, Princess Elizabeth Cup at Henley. Three years later, national lightweight champion. I've met so many incredible people and you really get to know these people and they're your kind of second family. Everywhere you go, you're gonna have family. They're, everyone in our sport is a complete zealot for the sport. There's just, there are no passengers. When you're about to start a race, like all the nerves and the fact that you have to calm them down and you have to be confident, you have to be ready. And then like once you win, once you get, like you cross that finish line, you hear the buzzer and you know you did well. And you know, you, like even if you didn't win and you raced your best race, it's just like you're on top of the world. You're feeling great. I feel like I can do anything when I'm on the water. It has this magnetic quality. Don't do it. Whatever you do, don't because it's an addiction. It's just something that I've, I've become addicted to and I can't, I can't get myself out of it. Best sport in the world. Anybody that wants to get involved in this sport, I'm like, come on, just be aware, just be aware that you are gonna have a new love of your life.